be <laughs> getting money for research is amazing. It's going to help so many children and it's going to change the way that we're working day to day. The Montreal Children's Hospital will be doubling its number of cancer clinical trials offered. The five year expansion is said to be a vital leap towards discovering better treatments, especially for aggressive and incurable cancers. 85% of children now survive a cancer diagnosis, though the reality is that 15% will not, with cancer in Quebec being the leading cause of death by disease for children and adolescents. The hospital says they are determined to rewrite these statistics. On Wednesday, the Children's Clinical Research Unit received a $1 million donation from Fuel Transport, with Dr. Catherine Vezia saying the funding will help tremendously as trials are used to determine the most effective and safest treatment for disease. Pediatric trials are not really well funded, and we don't receive a lot of money from the government to have like a big team to look after the studies. So with this money, we're able to hire more people in order to be able to open more trials and to have all trials available for any kids that will present with type of cancer. Dimitri Lapos and his son Jameson, who battled leukemia, was present at the press conference where they shared their journey and of how the donations will help others like them who have navigated through a very difficult time. Well, Jameson was diagnosed with um, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, uh, B-cell ALL is the technical term for it. Donations like fuels today of a million dollars to clinical research is just so key because it allows the standard to be set so much higher. And Jamie was able to have his childhood or, you know, a, a, a quasi childhood and we were able to have a, a, a life. For many of these children, clinical trials are their only hope, with CEO of Fuel Transport Robert Piccini saying the donation marks the inauguration of Fuel Transport's Papa George Foundation, which will continue fundraising for the children's and other causes. We believe that we can leverage the one million and raise another million in three years, and I hope we go beyond that. And I'm sure we're going to just blow that out of the water. Lapo said though Jameson's journey isn't over yet, he is now on maintenance therapy until June 2025, and that he is as energetic as ever. My job was just to make him have a good time, to make him laugh, to make him smile, to, to be silly. That was my job. So for parents that are trying to process it, you're going to go through survival mode where you're going to feel nothing. In that time, you'll be fine. Just continue doing what the doctors say. They know what's best. Follow that regimen. In Montreal, Dehonsteria Steer, City News.